Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the video. Today is going to be a pretty awesome day. Uh, to start off, there's a small car show locally, and I got some a lot of work actually to get done on the uh, 2019 Mustang. I finally got the bumpers in, so I need to swap everything over from the bumpers. And then, as you guys know, I'm also selling the 2011 Mustang, which means I need to get everything that I want to keep off this car and put it onto this car, which is just the wheels. I'm not. It's just just the wheels. I got a lot of work set out for me today and we'll get this car settled out shortly. But for the meantime, we got a car show down the road. I definitely will miss this car. I'm not gonna lie. I have had thoughts to keep this car and twin turbo or something cool like that. But financially, I just don't think it's a smart idea right now. So we're gonna have to do something fun with that car. But man, it's a beautiful day here in Colorado. 95 degrees or something today, so. Already got a dark horse out here at Carson Coffee. I love these things. By far the best car here today. Check out the color on this Alpha. That thing is sweet. There's a sweet P1. A lot of carbon on here. Pretty incredible. GT3 RS, GT3, and GT2. That is awesome. The spec on that 3RS is sick though. We got the McLaren Elva, which is insane. And then a McLaren Senna here. So I'm back at home. It's a little bit later here. I've got started working on the Mustangs, right? It's hot. It's like 95 degrees out here. And so I'll excuse my sweating. <sighs> kind of come to a realization. I am currently putting the HREs on the S550 and putting the PP1s onto this one. And to be honest with you guys, I love this car. I'm kind of getting emotional about selling it. I really do like it. And the PP1s don't look bad at all. I might argue that they look better than the HREs on this car, but obviously the HREs look whack on here right now because it is monster truck. But then also uh, this side is all bent in due to the bent strut. So once I get coilovers to fix this, I'm sure it'll look much better along with finishing the car may help, but I am kind of getting sad about this thing. I am not going to lie. So. I'm almost done. This wheel is scraped up because that's the one that received most of the impact. All the other wheels are on the car, as you can see. So that's great. They fit a lot better than I was thinking they would. They don't poke. Um, they won't hit the fenders and stuff on bumps. This is full compressed in the back, so no more rubbing. The HREs are on the S550. Obviously, this side, the suspension is still wonky, so it's gonna look weird. But with perfect suspension, Looks like they're gonna be pretty good. They won't poke just that much. And the front's obviously the same. So I like them. They're gonna look really cool once the car's lowered and wrapped and all one color. So, so that's a bummer, but oh well. So it's gonna be a pretty easy swap, I think. Bumpers these days are more complicated than some cars back in the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this wheel sitch, get the wheel all painted up, and then I'm gonna post this car for sale once the wheels are swapped over. And that hurts me to say, but 
I think it's gonna be good. And once this car is gone, who knows? Maybe I'll end up getting another one someday, but I'm gonna try to enjoy this S550 for a little bit. I really like this car. It's a car I've wanted for a long time, so. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this wheel, just paint it up a little bit, paint over these scratches. So the next guy doesn't have to roll with the trash wheel. The wheels are all switched over and the car is ready to go. Very disappointing because this is the coolest I've seen the car. The wheels look fantastic and it's, you know, lower with the 19s, of course. The stance is more of, you know, what I like. It's not so close and worrisome. So that's a real bummer that it's looking my, you know, the favorite to me right now. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do and the s550 is going to be awesome so it's going to make up for this loss but i think this is going to be the gateway to a lot of cooler cars in the future it's a big deal it's really incredible need to get this mirror on this is going to be a pain in the butt holy smokes so i was going to go ahead and get the bumpers all switched over and this is going to be a pain in the ass so might as well get started now it was hot and I was getting lightheaded and it was crazy. So I I went inside for a little bit and now it is absolutely beautiful once again. Probably a couple grand from being done as well as maybe a month, two months, which is incredible news for me because this car is going to be incredible for me. So if you guys like today's video, please uh, go ahead and give it a like. To stay up to date with this build, please make sure to subscribe. This is only the start. Only get getting it done is only the start because then comes the build and I am so excited for what's to come. So please smash that subscribe button and just like that, I'll see you guys next video. Peace. But now you're out of time.